discussing the system requirements for standard deployments of Burp Suite Enterprise Edition. Please note you should refer to the full documentation when designing your installation. In this video, we will just cover general advice. To begin, you can perform a standard deployment of Burp Suite Enterprise Edition on-premise or on cloud-hosted virtual machines. For general requirements, please ensure that you meet the following conditions, that the application is self-hosted in your own environment, all the components are installed on machines that have a 64-bit architecture, the disk location must be locally attached storage rather than a network file system, and we do recommend that you use dedicated server class machines when deploying Burp Suite Enterprise. In terms of the operating systems available, we do support Windows, Linux, and Mac OS. You can refer to the full list of versions in the documentation here. But do note that we don't recommend CentOS or Red Hat Linux version 7, and typically we recommend the latest Ubuntu long-term support release. Additionally, if you do choose to deploy to Linux, uh, depending on the OS that you use, you may need to install packages to allow BIPS Chromium browser to run. And these, again, depend on the Linux distribution that you've chosen, but we do have documentation which can guide you through this process under browser-powered scanning. Next, you must decide if you want to deploy to a single machine deployment or multi-machine. Single machine is deploying all the components to, as the name describes, a single machine. Everything is contained as one, and this architecture allows you to run up to five concurrent scans. We typically only recommend this deployment uh, for POC or trial purposes. You can see when referencing our documentation that we have a minimum specification relative to the number of scans that you want to run, and a recommended specification, again, relative to the number of scans that you want to run. If your applications, uh, in terms of your target scans, are fairly small and static, you're fine to go with the minimum recommendations. But for anything that is larger, dynamic, JavaScript heavy, we would um, advise that you go for the recommended specifications. We also advise on AWS EC2 instances, again, based on those number of, of concurrent scans. For production deployments, we do recommend multi-machine deployments. This is where we separate out the enterprise server machine and the scanning machines to their own servers. This is great for scale and performance. So you'll see a reference to the enterprise server itself. And again, in terms of a minimum or recommended specification level. And then the same goes for your scanning machines, again, relative to how many scans you would like to run. So for example, I could deploy a scanning machine configured to run five concurrent scans and deploy another scanning machine configured to run five concurrent scans and the specification would match here. Please note that if you do need any help with the system requirements or designing your deployment, you can contact our support team at support at and we will endeavor to assist you. Thank you.